Hello everybody, Keith here again. Um, today I want to do a what's in bloom, or very nearly in bloom, in April video. There's some that I'm pleased about, some that are going over. And I'm going to do it in two parts. Basically the Pafio pedalums will come later, and this is everything else I've got, which is in bloom at the moment. Um, starting with this one, this is... Um, Phalaenopsis Leodora, or at least that's what I bought it as. It's one of those where some are scented and unfortunately mine isn't. It's baffling me, this plant is. As you can see, we've got one long spike there. We've got a number of branches which have not done an awful lot since they've emerged. And I really wasn't expecting this to be like this. Um, it had dropped all the flowers. And I thought, okay, that spike's finished with, I'll fetch it off in a minute. And the next time I looked, it had extended and we've got more buds coming. So, quite what it's doing, I think your guess is probably as good as mine. The one at the back is a little mini fowl that I bought in Salisbury in 2019. Um, for the, which I actually bought because it, got, it was in a jar that I've used for Mivanda. Um, but it's proved to be a really great plant. Um, no, I don't know what on earth it is, but um, it's a, quite a pretty flower and it's very, very vigorous. It's got a lot of roots, it's putting out a new leaf. So I'm really pleased with that. This is Mini Mark. That's been on the go for a very long time now, um, and it's nearly finished. I wanted that spike to come off because I wanted to get it into vegetative growth. But looking down here, as I brought the plant into the conservatory to video it, we've got another leaf just showing the tip. So um, that's great. Now to round off the fowls, this is the smallest one I've got and I think it's the latest one I've got as well. This is uh, Phalaenopsis equestris, one of the very small ones anyway. Um, got it from Burnham's at the end of that, or towards the end of last year, about July, August time I think. Um, visited their great nursery, went into the shop, we were on a motorbike so I ordered it, paid the postage and it came after we got back. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, it's done very well for me. But, um, as I was watering it yesterday, I noticed down in the corner of there where my finger is, we've got a spike. So I think, looking at the size of the plant, this is its first blooming. I didn't think it would bloom yet. I didn't know how big they got. I knew they weren't very big. And I know Ritherlington School's got one in a large coffee cup with holes drilled in the bottom. So that's chuffed me no end, that has. As is this one. This is my um, Psychopsis. Um bought it last year when we came back from Croatia from the garden centre at RHS Wisley. First one I've had, really wasn't sure what I was doing with it, repotted it because it was in that awful cocoa peat fibre stuff um, and I put it in a mixture of bark and, and moss, got too much moss in it and it was staying wet far too long so I Peppered it full of holes because my soldier and I not got a very big bit and it's made a big difference because it does now dry out reasonably quickly and now we've got into the warmer weather it's drying out really nicely. Um, and we have a new growth there and just to prove what they say about these things that they will do, they will grow and they will bloom and they will do all sorts, it's expanded that bud and I hope you can see that the colours beginning to develop on the, the back of the sepals 
So with a bit of luck, that's going to be out before very much longer, and that'll be, you know, dancing on the roof if that happens. <sighs> Spring Dream, Noble A Cakey. Got two of these that are still in flower. They've been in flower for goodness only knows how long, and they just keep going and going and going. I mean, what more could you ask? It's about as easy to grow as you could possibly get. It's no wonder you see them in um, supermarkets, is it? Um, Miltonia spectabilis. If you've been looking at my video channel before, you'll know that I was, or I've been having problems with this, with humidity, or at least it's humidity related that I'm getting. Not so much the pleated leaves, because I've got a lot of stuff which has grown, which isn't pleated. So I'm getting some of the water in right. It's more that these bracts, or, or whatever you call them, I'm not a, a biologist or a botanist, I'm a, an engineer. Um, but basically they stick together. I get the same kind of thing in some dendrobiums as, as they emerge. Um, and normally a spray of water will get rid. Um, I thought the humidity was much lower than it actually turns out to be because the hygrometer now I've got another one is showing that it's it's actually wrong. But I'm I'm still spraying it a little bit. Um, this growth against my, the back of my thumb that's jumped on, and I think that pleating there is is down to. Um, it being released a little bit, but the disappointing thing is, I think there's a there was another bud in there. But um, I do believe we've got um, at least one more flower spike. I think that one there is another flower spike. So we're going to get at least one more flower, and that's pretty. All I want now is the the dark purple one, which is called something like Moriana. Um, which seems to be fairly unusual. Now this really was a very, very pleasant surprise. This is my um, uh, Dendrobium tetragonum variant Gigantium. Um, very strange flower. It's not quite opened yet. But it's on its way and we've got two flowers on that spike. Um, it's already flowered once this year on, an, on another uh, spike, on another cane. And bless me, a cane that's already flowered has got another, uh, well, another flower spike, bud, whatever, coming. And that was the last cane it put up last year. And that sheaf hasn't burst yet, so who knows what's going to happen with this, but... I do love that flower. It doesn't last ever such a long time, but I just think it's it's such a gorgeous looking thing. And finally there's that bowl of pleonies which is now well on its way out. Um, the leaves are extending, most of the flowers have gone. Um, but we've got lots and lots of new growth spikes, we're going to get a lot of new bulbs. Um, this time round. Um, so next year this could be an even better display. Right, that's this lot. I'll put them away and um, I'll get the next lot out. Okay, the second group. One more path uh, and no ID. And I've had for quite a long time and it hadn't flowered for quite a while before it blessed me with these. So, uh, quite chuffed with that because it's not been pulling any trees up. We've got not quite a nice display of, of flowers, so I'm hoping that means good things. My Renanthera and my Arnie crossed with Wanachica um, on its way down very rapidly now. One of the flowers has gone, so I think this spike will be over and done with in. Uh, a couple of days, probably certainly a week. Um, 
does last a heck of a long time, but it's you know it's 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 doing all right for me. I'll probably have to look at repotting it because of the way the roots are doing, but it seems tolerably happy. Little leaves pass, which I do like very much. This is Delanartii. Um, really nice plant. Got this last year from uh, Vacheron Lacoufra at uh, the Hampton Court Flower Show, and that's done really well. All I need to do now is put up some new growths and um, so we can see it grow. Um, a new one now. Sorry, that wasn't Vacheron Lacoufra. That wasn't. I uh, uh, forget where I got that one from. This was Vacheron Lacoufra. Um, but this is um, Paphiopedalum callosum sublaevi, which is a, ve a small variant um, of this um, species. When you compare it to the American hybrid, or even Mordii, um, this is a really small plant, really small plant. A little bit disappointed insofar that when I bought it, the flower spike had two on. This time we've only got one, but never mind, it's, uh, it's bloomed. It's growing well. The damage to the leaves is entirely down to me. It was growing, still is growing, in a very confused fashion. Um, and I was trying to see what was happening, and these leaves are very, very stiff and brittle. But isn't that a sweet little flower? Absolutely gorgeous. Mordi eye. I've had two flowers on this one this year. And that, which I think actually was the second one to open, is on its way, so I'm going to guess that this won't be long behind it. Um... Again, it's one of those everybody should have one. They really don't take any looking after. Um, and it grows really well just stuck on a windowsill and left to its own devices. This is um, this is a cracking plant. And one I'm not even going to try and pick up. This, of course, is my American hybrid. Um, old Faithful grows really well, like the Mordi, it takes absolutely no looking after it, whatever, doesn't need any special conditions, stick it on a windowsill, treat it like a phalaenopsis and away you go, you couldn't wish for a, an easier plant to try. So, that's everything I've got in flower at the moment, apart from some Christmas cactuses over the back, the second of my amaryllis, which won't last long, the other one didn't. Um, and really, apart from that, we haven't got a lot happening. Just to tag on the back, that was the thermometer and hygrometer that I've been um, using up to now. And it's showing 31%, which is supposed to be really dry. And it doesn't feel that bad. So, after a lot of humming and hawing, I actually bought... A new and different type of um, hygrometer. This is called a hair hygrometer, which relies on the expansion and contraction of a hair, or in this case, an artificial hair, um, as the humidity changes. Um, and this is showing 42 instead of 31. And these get further and further apart. This morning, this one said 60%, uh, and that one said just over 40. So there's something definitely not right with the uh, Oregon Scientific one there. Um, but it, it does explain why the orchids do tolerably well in here, even despite what was the apparent humidity. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that's been a little bit of interest to everybody. Um, 
and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.